I want to go over day 20 of Thirsty by Jamie Morgan. In Thirsty to Walk in Humility is the definition of pride is the opposite of humility. Gives glory to self, trust in self, honors self, is self-sufficient, self-seeking, blinds those who exhibit it, creates an atmosphere where the enemy thrives, won't go unpunished. God humbles those who possess it. God opposes people who have it. God hates it, the character of Satan, and it's ugly, so pride is just not good. The definition of humility is the opposite of pride. It's God-focused, gives glory to God, trusts God, honors God, God-reliant, seeks God, creates an atmosphere where God's spirit moves. God exalts those who possess it. God gives grace to people who have it. God loves it, the character of Christ, and beautiful. It's a daily battle to walk in Christ like humility. Keeping our hearts free from pride is a struggle for all of us. And just when we think we've conquered pride, which is a form of pride, by thinking that you've conquered it, it creeps back unaware. There's no getting around it. To experience personal revival, we need to eradicate pride in every form and walk humbly before our God. While it's easy to spot pride in others, especially those who brag or think themselves higher than they ought, it's not so simple to recognize it in ourselves. Pride creeps in subtly, which is why we need to ask God daily to examine our hearts. Here are some pride detectors to assist in recognizing the not-so-obvious areas of pride that may try to sneak into your heart. Pride says, I know that already, but humility says, I'll stay teachable because there's always more to learn. Pride says, I know I'm habitually late for meetings, but after all, they should be grateful I even go. Humility says, it's not about my timetable, but when the meeting starts. Pride says, I can't accept your gift. I'm a much better giver than receiver. Humility says, thank you for this blessing. I've learned to be a cheerful giver as well as a grateful receiver. Pride says, I'm sorry to interrupt your conversation, but humility says, I'll wait until you're finished talking. What you have to say is more important. Pride says, I'm too embarrassed to invite that person over to my home. My carpeting is old and stained. Humility says, that person is really hurting and needs the love of God. I'm going to invite him or her anyway. Pride says, I refuse to be happy for their new car purchase. Can't they see that I've needed a new car for a long time? Humility says, I'm going to rejoice with them over this wonderful blessing. I know God will meet my needs as well. And pride says, I always have to be in charge. It's just my personality. Humility says, I don't have any problem with playing second fiddle. I'll joyfully serve wherever needed. Pride says, I can't believe they got the credit for that project. I'm the one who came up with that idea. Humility says, let them receive the credit. I perform for an audience of one. Pride says, I have difficulty publicly expressing my worship to God. I mean, what if someone thinks I'm weird? Humility says, I'm going to demonstratively worship God, regardless of what anyone thinks. Worship is about God, not me. Pride says, I'm lost in a strange city, but I'm not going to ask for directions. Humility says, let's pull over to that gas station, saying, I don't know, is no problem for me. Pride says, I'm so offended by what he said to me. But humility says, I refuse offense. People who are dead to themselves don't get offended. Pride says, I'm visiting a church for the first time. I need to inform the pastor all about my ministry achievements and the initials behind my name. Humility says, my gifts will make room for me, and promotion comes from the Lord. I'll never self-promote. Pride says, I know I'm committing a sin, but God will understand because, well, after all, it is me. Humility says, even though everything in me desires to continue in that sin, I choose to repent. I'm not the exception to the rule. Pride says, my pastor just corrected me. I'm going to look for a new church. Humility says, my pastor loves me and has my best interest at heart. Correction is necessary for my Christian growth. I'm willing to receive it and stay where God has planted me. Pride says, I know I shouldn't skip my morning devotions, but my schedule is packed. 
Humility says I'm completely and totally dependent upon God. Prayerlessness is not an option.